Hello everybody and welcome back to Vintage Survival. So today, hopefully we're going to be able to get our field drilled. I'm going to be putting barley in because the chickens are going to require some more food. We don't really want to be buying the food. It'd be really good if we could grow it ourselves. Uh, so chickens can take wheat, barley or sorghum. So really any of those are acceptable, but I think barley is the one I want to go for this time. As you can see, they have made some, they've laid some more eggs. 450, it's 150 kilograms. So thank you chickens, you are doing a very good job here. But today, first of all, what I would like to do is get some sheep. And the sheep are gonna go just here, next to the chickens. It's the perfect place because the yard's a bit rough here. Uh, it's not gonna be a field, it's never gonna be a forest either. So yeah, where we stood currently makes sense. So into construction, animals, and then sheep. You can see I have downloaded this mod here. It's um, 5,000 pounds and it can take 30 sheep. It does require water though, so it's not plumbed in. Uh, so we would have to look into getting a water tanker. It's also quite large. It's probably not letting me place it there because I'm stood there. Uh, but yeah, going up that way makes sense. It's not a bad place to put it at all. And most importantly, it's cheap. Okay, I'll have to figure out exactly why it won't let me put it there. Uh, I'll have to get place anywhere. It kind of feels better to have the building facing that way, but it doesn't look as good. And it sort of blocks off the middle of the yard. Um, I suppose we could have it that way round. That would probably make more sense, actually. So if I can do this as neatly as possible... I'll try and make sure it's on our land. Try and make it square. Not easy from this angle, it's hard to see from here. And we do need to make sure the eggs have got enough space to spawn and enough space for us to move them. So I would say about there, that should be, uh, that should be good. Hopefully I've not made any mistakes. So yeah, we have the sheep pasture. Very good. So, oh, well, you'd have thought this would be uh, automatic because that is their water trough and it's being filled from this guttering from the roof. So they're being given rainwater. But by the look of things, that might be for decoration as there is this icon here. So I think we do still need to give them water. Okay, so yeah, as for the sheep that we're buying, obviously we do not have unlimited money. We're probably going to have to buy them young and then they're gonna to have to grow up so they can start to reproduce and also produce wool. But I think I will go for two different types. I'm gonna go with um, Black Welsh Mountain. It's a lamb and yeah, it's, it's only, it's literally just born. So zero months old. We'll go for some of these. As I said, we do have a capacity of 30. I think if we buy 10 of these and then 10 of another type, then there is space for them to reproduce eventually. So we could afford that. And we'll also go with this type, I think. Go with 10 of those. Lovely. So it is two thirds full. It's already looking quite congested, actually. Yeah, they're obviously not lambs, but they are lambs, if you know what I mean. So, uh, yeah, anyway, we have sheep. This is good. But they do not have the food. Well, the food is simple, actually. We have the food. They will take grass or hay, or both. Uh, we have the grass. It's actually just from the yard here, but it's a good job that I collected it up. Because otherwise, we'd have to buy it. Oh, good grief. Nope, you're not supposed to see that. It looks like the door attacked the tractor. Well, <laughs> with that all sorted out, we can now put some of this food in the back of the trailer. I don't know how much of this uh, food we're actually going to need. How much food do 20 sheep eat? I can imagine quite a bit. So I think we'll just keep filling it. And then we'll test it, we'll see how many bales are accepted. If it takes all of it, then we'll then see how many more we need, roughly. They are 250 litres each, so that's not bad. Still quite a substantial amount. 
it soon adds up. Just in a quick drive around, I think this must be the place just here. I think we have to open the door. I've also noticed that we do have a bale storage point on the other side of the building. Yeah, this is where the trough is so they can eat out of there. But yeah, there is another door just here. So if I open this up, you can see that I've already tried to put it in here. I didn't realise the trough was on the other side. Um, but yeah, we can store things in here and it won't accept the grass, it will just store nicely. So it should, if I reverse this into here, accept this grass without any problems. Yep, there we go. Good. So let's get that grand total. 2,392. So I was really close. If I just put maybe two more bales in, that would have been enough to totally fill the trough. Uh, well, as it's so close, we'll just grab two. But now we know where to store them in the future. We can use this shed for maybe silage bales, straw bales, that sort of thing. And the sheep can have their own storage point for the grass and the hay. There's one. Right, will they take two? Possibly. They'll probably take some of the second one. It might not be enough to get rid of it. Yeah, it's looking good with this here now. Okay, it did take it all. It will take some of the next bale. But that's just great. We have loads of bales left. And this is all just from tidying up. Right, so that will eventually be completely taken. Uh, now the focus is going to have to be on water. We can't have sheep without water. That's where the chickens are super easy because they don't actually require water, which is strange because chickens certainly do require water. They will not live long without it. But, yep, yeah, in the game, apparently it's not required. Which, I guess, makes it easy for us. So anyway, uh, tankers. I'm, I'm aware of a water tanker, which we should be able to get hold of. Uh, we do have £3,800 left. Um, we may need to buy some more seed, although we, we do still have seed at the store. And, yeah, the, the seed drill probably has seed in it already, so I don't think the money's going to be a problem here. Here we go. I have found this water trailer. It does only have a 1,000 litre capacity, but for these sheep, that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, right, do you want grey, grey or grey? I'm quite tempted with grey, actually. Oh, sorry, grey galvanised. We will go with that. That would be nice. Also, you'd be pleased to hear the store has bought a front-loader tractor. So they can load up our things, or we can use it to load up our things. <laughs> things like the fertiliser and seed bags. We're going to have to return, actually. We'll have to do the watering and head back there with the trailer so we can pick up our bags. Uh, they're probably getting fed up with them being there. And then we just have to find some water. Uh, there must be places to get water around here. Their tractor is so new they haven't even set it up yet. Right, please attach. Good. Yeah, well, I'm sure by the time we get back here with the trailer, they will have set up their new tractor. Now there are two places I think. There is a river down there and there's a lake over there. I'm going to try the river first just because, well, it looks like quite a nice place to go to. But in the future, I'll probably use the lake as it is much closer. It's more like a ford actually. So this is a logical place to fill up from. Park it there. And there we go. We're filling. Good. Uh, right. It's a bit of a wetland, this actually, so we, we don't want to be spending any time here. We might get stuck. We just want to spin round and head back. Yeah, we're only two-wheel drive. We don't have that much traction either. As soon as we can afford a new tractor, we're going to get one, but we, we probably won't sell this one, as it's going to be good to have two. But it has to be four-wheel drive. That is my only rule for the next tractor that we buy. It doesn't need to have a cab, it just needs to have four-wheel drive and higher horsepower. So yeah, when I said my only rule, I mean one of my only rules. Oh, that was close. Oh, this road is so busy. Right, sheep, we have your water. 
would be nice if the uh, trough did fill up when it rains, but yeah, I, I can't guarantee that's actually going to happen. In it goes. So a thousand litres did go a long way. It doesn't look like it went far enough. Yeah, quite significant. So this next time we'll go over to the lake, which is literally just across these fields. I was only going by the minimap, but it's actually looking more like a quarry. I think it's a quarry which is filled up with water, yep. Uh, we can get into here, but it's not as good as the first place we went to. Yeah, so it is filling, but it's not ideal. Quite a lot of bulrushes and reeds and stuff. And a crash barrier, something that you tend to find in a load of undergrowth. <laughs> no, uh, it's uh, obviously part of the road. I shouldn't be here. They're trying to keep me out. From this side, the crash barrel will look totally normal. Yep. Just getting a bit overgrown. I know what would be good if we could dig our own pond. I know there was uh, placeable water in FS19. I'm not too sure if that mod is available for 22. Where you sort of dig a hole and place the water, the water plane in the, uh, in the hole. That would be good. I would love to build our own pond. I'll have to look into it. Anyway, uh, yeah, there we go. It took half of that. I don't think we need to put this inside, so we'll just keep it here. Should be alright. And we'll now grab the trailer. We'll go and retrieve the seed. I think it's seed and fertilizer. I think we did buy both. That's why we didn't have to do any fertilizing before, because it was an all-in-one drill. It's also a direct drill, so we don't even have to do cultivating. I do have a concern with picking up the bags with this trailer, and that is because it is a bulk carrying trailer sort of thing, it will carry grain, uh, the bags will probably empty into it. So, well, it'll only actually empty one, obviously you can't put two different uh, product types in the same trailer. So we could put one into here loose, and then carry the other one as it is, on top. Not ideal. We do need a flatbed. I could look into a flatbed, that would be good, but we do only have £1,800 left. Ah, good. They have attached their front loader. Okay, so let's just take a look at trailers. Yeah. As I thought. Not within our price range. So it's not a major problem that it's going to empty most likely into the trailer. It just means that I'm going to have to use their tractor to scoop it up again. I must have only just missed that. Yeah, I would be very surprised if this doesn't empty into here. Oh, It's our lucky day. I think you wanted to. So now let's go for this final bag. Uh, this one might be tempted to do it, but we can hope for the best. Okay. Maybe it's because I was quite low. Try and stay low again. Oh, very promising. Good, well, we'll keep them there um, until we need them, because we can just basically automatically uh, take the contents out with the drill. Also, I'm loving the 1630. It would be nice if we could have one of these, although, yes, it's already against our rule, because it's not four-wheel drive, and it's not... It actually, is it? Is it high horsepower? Let's take a look. So our current tractor is... 50 horsepower, and this one is 60 horsepower. So yeah, it is ever so slightly more powerful. It also has a higher top speed. It's twice the weight, which is interesting. It must be the cab. Anyway, put some straps over and we'll be off. So we do have 170 liters of both.
And here we are, back at the farm. I really do like that sheep enclosure. I think it blends in perfectly. Obviously we can't go for anything modern either. So yeah, let's get this drill attached. We'll just bring it out of the bushes where it's been lurking for the past year. And well, we actually should be able to take the contents out of both of those bags. Then we can dispose of them. So there goes the seed and there goes the fertilizer. Brilliant. Yeah, we are going to struggle a bit with this because it is a big drill on a tiny tractor. However, it is capable of doing it. So let's set this to barley. Could do soil them. I think, yeah, we're going to go with barley. Uh, I did see a few recommendations as well to go with barley, so I'll listen to my viewers. Always a wise choice. But yeah, we just need to keep making money. And the sheep obviously won't be making money for a while. Although, yeah, I've never actually properly studied the sheep's wool production prior to their reproduction age. I don't know if it's just limited or if they make no wool at all. I didn't think that it was possible for them to do the wool, um, but I guess we'll see. At least the chickens are producing eggs, so that's making money for us. Anyway, yes, we'll continue with this. It does look completely out of scale for it, but I've sort of bought it for the future, because obviously our next tractor will be uh, the right size for it. No problem at all downhill. I can't actually remember how it was doing uphill. I know we weren't just sat there wheel spinning, so that's promising, but it probably wasn't racing along. Okay, we're going to have to pull out here. There we go. Sorry cars. Sorry man. Now we can go across here. Oh, it's that man again. Just run him over. <laughs> He'll be fine. He jumped out of the way, I think. So yeah, how is it going to do uphill? Ah, it's pretty good. Not too bad. Because of course it's not PTO driven. It's actually run from the wheels. Which must be saving a bit of power. We're almost there, and that'll be us done for another year. I have been looking into hand planting tree saplings, and I could not find the mod that we have in FS19. I think it's by GTX. And um, yeah, it is a big shame, because that was such an amazing mod, and it would have been perfect for this series. So yeah, as we can't hand plant, as far as I'm aware, we're going to have to rent the modern tree planter, which I don't want to do, but there is, as far as I can see, no alternative. And it will only be a one-off because I'm going to be building up the forest again and it's not something you do every day so <laughs> it will just be a one-off tree planting session we'll have to get a heavier tractor first though this would be up on two wheels if we put that on the back but we also do need some grassland so that we can get grass for the sheep obviously we're okay at the moment but not forever so maybe some of that yard could be no, I don't think so. Uh, maybe if we move the forest up to the top, 
have a dense forest at the top, then have a small piece of grass down here. So if we clear these lower trees, that would be one idea. And I guess we could extend the grassland further down into the yard, get rid of the gravel. It could come down to here, maybe. But we do want to keep this open area for building other buildings in the future. Right, so we have managed to drill that field twice now uh, with the same bag of seed and fertilizer. We have 201 litres of fertilizer left and 366 litres of seed. So not too bad, but I don't think there's quite enough fertilizer that there isn't to do it again. Um, but there is enough seed, so that's very promising. Anyway, yeah, let's just quickly have a look over here. Yeah, so if we cut down all the trees up to probably here, this is a good line, then we can plant a load more in here, and then we can have this for grass. So I don't like to cut down these small trees, because there's hardly any wood in them, and they have a lot of potential for the future <laughs> to grow big. But yeah, we'll just have to replant them. So I'm going to go around, felling these trees, and it will temporarily make the area look worse, just because of the lack of trees, but eventually we'll have loads more. And actually, we could put some trees in around the outside of the plot. That would also work. Okay, oh, it's silver birch. Beautiful. Maybe not quite as easy to process. How is it going to do this? Yeah, it's going to be... Yeah, you just trim the uh, the end of each branch off. So it could be worse. That's not too difficult. You can actually see where to trim because uh, it goes to a lower quality texture. Uh, the top might just go in one go, possibly. Yep. And then these ones that one and almost there done not quite done we're almost done next time we'll be loading all these up we'll have to chop them up to uh, sell them so it's gonna be a bit of money back in that's a big tree which is good because we do need some substantial money as well not just like five pounds for the small bits. And it's a good job we have this chainsaw. Right, what do we have left? We're almost at the place where I said. Yeah, so these two trees. It makes perfect sense to do it to there. Uh, so we'll get rid of this one as well. And then we're done. Good. Yeah, it's tempting to go to there, but it's not a good idea. This will be plenty of grass. It'll be absolutely fine. So what I'll do is I will get the trailer again, and we'll position it there, ready for next time. I think almost immediately we will chop it all up into manageable sized pieces. We do have to somehow fit them into this trailer. I think before I rented the other trailer, which we could do again, but it isn't their expense. Uh, in fact, maybe the wood can fund the other trailer. That would be great. But it would be good if we could make maybe two or three thousand pounds from this. Sort of relying on that big pine. There we go. So yeah, that is uh, this episode done, I believe. We've done everything I wanted to do. We've drilled this field and we have purchased some sheep. And I won't call them chickens. At least I'll try not to. Maybe I already have done. Anyway, thank you so much for watching everybody. Hopefully you've enjoyed the episode, and until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.